Tonight, families in Apex are saying students are in danger each and every day on their walk to school. This comes after a middle, middle schooler ended up in the hospital with serious injuries after it being hit by a car yesterday morning. WRAL talked to multiple parents who tell us the combination of large schools, large developments, and lots of traffic there has been a recipe for disaster. They say while Apex has taken some steps to improve student safety, like flashing signs and crosswalks, more needs to be done. They want to see the school zone speed limit in that area lowered by at least 10 miles per hour. They also want to see more crossing guards and police enforcement to keep students safe. These parents say yesterday's accident showed just how dangerous this road can actually be. That accident put a middle schooler in the hospital with serious injuries after he was hit on his bike on the way to school. His stepfather telling us he had to undergo five hours of surgery. We're going to be in this hospital for the foreseeable future. Uh, we are not sure yet when he's going to get to go home, but his recovery, we're talking about months, uh, four to six months. Very difficult for that family. Now, this isn't the first time, obviously, uh, or the WRL has reported on student safety out here. Another student was hit while crossing the road back in 2017. Parents have been lobbying for increased safety measures in that area for nearly a decade.